Hi Jacob, thanks for your question. Uh, this is a tough one. We're going to use a couple rules of exponents here. One is the one that we've been using in the last two questions you sent me. But the other one looks a little bit like this. If we have two bases um, and we have different exponents for the bases and we are multiplying them together, then we really just add the exponents together. So again, if we have two exponents that we're multiplying and they have the same base, then we just add the exponents. We're going to use that in reverse on this question. Since we're adding plus 1 to 2 thirds x in the exponent, we can really simplify this first term into 2 to the first times 2 to the 2 thirds x. Let's go ahead and carry everything else down. Now we're going to use the other rule that you've become familiar with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this exponent as 1 third x squared. So we have 2 times 2 to the 1 third x and that's going to be squared. If I multiplied those back together I would end up with 2 thirds x again. Everything else is going to get carried down as is. Okay, so again we have a situation where we have something that looks kind of like a quadratic, um, but it's not quite. We have to manipulate it a little to get it there. Let's go ahead and do another u substitution and let u equal 1 third x. Then this becomes 2 u squared minus 3u minus 20 is equal to 0. So we got to pull out the star method for this one. I'm going to draw my usual x and draw another line through it. My leading coefficient 2 goes in these two triangles right here. And I am looking for something that multiplies to the outside, or negative 40, and adds to the inside, or negative 3. Um, specifically, I'm looking for two terms that multiply to 40, and they're three terms apart. Um, so I know that 8 and 5 multiply to 40 and are three terms apart. And since I have a negative number down here, I want my bigger number to be negative. I'm going to go ahead and simplify these big triangles on the left and the right as if they were fractions. So if this were a fraction, I would reduce it to 1 over negative 4, and this wouldn't reduce. So my factors are x minus 4 times, whoops, that's supposed to be a u, sorry. My factors are u minus 4 times 2u plus 5. Solving for u, I get u equals 4, or u equals negative 5 halves just by solving this factor equal to 0. Let's go ahead and put it back in terms of x. Our original substitution, oh, our original substitution was u equals 2 to the 1 third x. I apologize for that. So this is 2 to the 1 third x is equal to 4 and 2 to the 1 third x is equal to negative 5 halves. I can rewrite this first solution as 2 to the 1 third x equals 2 squared. Here again, I have the same base, so I can just set the exponents equal to each other. 
and this becomes one-third x is equal to 2, so x is equal to 6. And this one, um, we could go into detail about why it's not actual, actually a solution, um, but if you look here, I have a positive number equal to a negative number. No matter what exponent I put up here, it's not going to make this number negative. That's never going to happen, so we can cross it out. It's not a solution. Your only solution is x equals 6. That was a good question, Jacob. Thanks for sending it, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using Snap Math in the future.